My name's Sean James. I was one of the most feared yet revered Reaper men within the UK, specialising in getting cars back other agents couldn't get. Get him down! Sometimes the customers were a bit of a handful. I've had enough of it, mate. Other times, it was a whole different story. What is wrong with you? Down the car! No! You're going somewhere. What's the call, mate? Oh. How can you not make that? Oh. Oh. You rolling? Ah, oh, where do I start? I've been doing car repossessions now for 25 years, but let's get one thing straight. I didn't do the easy repos. I did the repos other agents couldn't get. Drug dealers, traveler sites, you name it, I got sent on it, and I got scars to prove it. Sometimes I did the repos on my own. Most of the time, I took back up. All right. All right, H. <laughs> Always been there when I need you? Certainly am, mate. I'll always be there for you. Over the 25 years, We've seen some repo agents come and go, haven't we? Yeah, well, not everyone can do it. You need a special mindset, a good set of skills to be a repo agent. Yeah, but let's just say, you know, you haven't got those specialist skills. Let's say we're repossessing a crane. You know, we'd get a crane driver. Or let's just say we're repossessing a motorbike. What are you going on about? You're leading up to something, aren't you? What is it? Well, let's just say, you know, we can't ride motorbikes legally, can we? No, we've got Dave. He, he works for us. Yeah, but let's just say, you know, we ain't got Dave. Oh, no. No, no, no. You're thinking of, um... What's his, what's his name? What's his name? Dead Dog Man. No, no, <laughs> mate, no. Anyone but Dead Dog Man. Anyone. So today then, H, we're going to meet a bloke called Rex. Dave's lent us his cousin who's got his bike licence, who's going to meet us. So we repo the bike, his cousin jumps on it. Okay. How easy is that? So what do you know about this, Rex? Nothing. Dave's cousin, that's it. I said to Dave, we're doing a repossession on a motorbike, so I needed Dave, because obviously he's got his bike licence. He was busy, and he says, where are you going? I said, Hull. He says, result. My cousin's in Hull. All right. Sounds good then, sounds good. Dave's vouching for his cousin. Let's do this. Yeah, Dave's gave me the location. It's just down here on the left. It says meeting by the Big Ivy House. Big Ivy House. For Holly and New York. <laughs> you used to have to sing that at school. Oh. Nah. <laughs> I did. Sit in assembly on the hard floor. Do it again, do it again. The Holly and New York. Balls job. Then you used to have to sit on the floor in no, assembly. Oh no. Well, yeah, but the, oh. no, no, that no. high pitched singing malarkey. Obviously, like, I'm, I'm trying but, to recreate when I was younger. You sing your assembly songs, uh, but. Now it's like, <laughs> well, the Ivy. Well, there's the big Ivy house. Oh, there he is. He ain't that big, is he? He even got his bike helmet. Mm. Nice bloke, mate. Yeah. Hey, boys. Is it Rex? It is. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, pal. You alright? Yep. What are you doing? <sighs> you right to come on this repo today with us? Ready for it, boys, yeah. Ready for it. I've heard what goes on in these. I'm ready for this. Mate, all we need you to do is just ride the motorbike, mate. Yeah, yeah, but if it goes down, boys, I'm there for you. We, we, nothing's going to go down. We just need you to ride the motorbike, mate. Got skills, boys, so we're all right. Don't worry. Don't you know. worry about me at all. Where's my uniform, then? What do you mean, where's your uniform? Well, you... nice boots, nice trousers, T-shirt. Got something for me? No, you won't have one, mate. You're just like that. You're not a repo, man. Well, how's he going to know um, anything to do with this? Well, you'll just be with us. You're only here to ride the motorbike. I need to look professional, though, boys. Come on, you have a proper outfit and everything. Yeah, Charlie, you've not... got a uniform You're not me. actually a repo, man. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We've got skills. You'll, you'll see. You'll see. Come on, I'll just ask you why they call you Rex. 
mum's dog died just before I was born. So I called that Rex. So mum thought it was ideal to call me Rex as well. So you're actually named after a dead dog? Yeah. Don't find anything wrong with that? No. Okay, let's go. Let's have it, boys. No, we're not going to be having anything. Yeah, we'll see. What do you mean we'll see? That guy just didn't get it, did he, H? He actually thought he was a reaper, man. He had one job to do. Yeah, ride the motorbike. <laughs> the moment we picked him up, I knew we'd made a mistake. <laughs> So the customer today is Gary Maxwell, seven months in arrears, FG19 NRV is a Harley Davidson. What's he been doing? What's the score? He just hasn't paid for seven months. <laughs> what an idiot. I'm going to have him or what? What do you mean, have him? Well, we're going to have him. No, we're just going to talk to him. Well, let's fucking have him. Like, so what is it? It's repo boy, isn't it? Repo man? Yeah, we are repo men, but... I thought that's what happened. Yeah, I'll well, just calm it down a bit, mate. Do you know that address? Yeah, it's back up this road. Yeah. Take a left and a left and we'll be straight down there. All right, then. Ready for him. What do you mean you're ready for him? Ready for what? what? We're just, all we're going to do is repo his motorbike. That's it now, boy. He's part of the crew. Where'd you get that hat? <laughs> it was mine. It's right on the sofa. He left it for me. That's it now. I'm part of the proper team. Mate, you're only here to ride the bike. Gonna ride the bike, hit the customer. Whatever. What do you mean hit the customer? Uh, no, 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 hit the customer, mate. I've heard what we... goes on, I've heard what goes on. We need, we need to get this right, don't we? He's not paid his bills, we need to get his bike off him. Hell, them doors last night, boys. Say four of them come at me. <sighs> what a night. All because he had no blooming trainers on. Come at me, didn't he, his mate? Big mate. Bigger than you two. Way bigger. Come at me, straight on the deck, round the neck. Got me knee in his back. The other guy come over, he tried booting me off him, so we had him as well, didn't we? Straight to the chin, dropped him on the deck. Yeah. Okay. On your just, own, yeah? Just a standard. No, I'm on my own every week on my own, mate, Cos. Just a standard week. How come you're on your own then? Don't need two of us on that door, mate, or me there. That seems a bit rough. Yeah, all these fists, mate, like my weapons. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Find out later, won't we, boys? No, we no, won't we find won't. out later. Nothing's gonna happen later. We just need you. Yeah, you never know, you never know. I'm here to no, back you up. No, no you're know. just we here know. to ride the motorbike. Yeah, as so Dave told me all about you, boys, and what you'll get up to. If you don't get up to anything, mate, we just repossess stuff. Well, I've heard the story, sir. Brought me trusty friend with me. And I don't go mate, anywhere without you. What are you it. bringing that for? Well, you gotta keep him on you these days, aren't you? You never know what's gonna happen. Why mean? have you brought a knuckle duster to a repossession Well, for? you never know, do you? One boom and they're down, aren't they? Get out! Yeah. Get out! This is it. I want to chat with you. Come on, where is he? Mate. There's no one here. Give us your knuckle duster. I need this, man. You don't need it. You never know. You never we only know. need you to ride the motorbike. Give us your knuckle duster. You can use it. I'm not going to use it, am I? You might need it, you never know. What else has got on you? Nothing. Other Clean. weapons? Clean. Nothing. I don't believe you, mate. Nothing. Mobile phone. That's it. What's this then? No, I forgot about that one. What a reserve. This is going to quit. Well, you never know what's going to happen, do you? You hear about these things. Bad from Dave. You're going to be all right to ride the motorbike today? Oh, I'll be all right, yeah, absolutely fine. Got your back. No, you haven't got my back. H has got my back. You just need to ride the motorbike, all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. You have his back at the end. Get in. Two knuckle dusters. He had two knuckle dusters on him. It's crazy, we'd never take tools on a job. That's just a big no-no. But I've seen you take weapons off customers and threaten them with the same weapon. What are you talking about? I didn't bring them with me. They brought them to the party, not me. Oh, so we call you fighting parties now, are we? All right, you hold my knuckle dusters and I'm going to go and get some jelly and ice cream. Don't forget the cake, I like cake. <laughs> Gotta be around here somewhere. I seem to remember that address. There it is, there it is! Oh, where are you going? Where are you Where's going? Where's he 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 going? Where's he
Dude, what got it, doing? got it, got it. What are you doing on the bike? Got it, it's secure. What do you mean it's secure? You don't need to be on it to secure it. I've got it, I've got it. I've got the bike. You can't just jump out and move the vehicle. Bike's secure. Get off the bike, we haven't even repoed it yet. I've got it there, it's secure now, isn't it? It's ours. Oh, let me get the paperwork. I'm gonna have to have a word with Dave. Can't believe he jumped out of a moving truck. One minute I'm driving along, next thing, beep, 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 all the alarms going off, doors open, he's out. Yeah, when I turned around, he was just gone. <laughs> Mate, just chill out, seriously. Ready for this, Edge. What's wrong with you? What's all this? You never know, do you, Sean? You never know. Mate, chill out, brief. Where is he? All we need you to do is secure the bike. It's secure. It's not getting anywhere near this. You just stay by the bike. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Ready for it, Sean. Come on. Get back over by the bike. What are you coming to the door for? Ready to repo it? Just stay by the bike. Stay there. Yeah, is it Gary Maxwell? Yeah, that's me. Give us a cake! Give us a cake now! Oh, oh, what what what's wrong, boss? Oh, what, come on, boss. I'm just trying to help. I'm not your boss. I'm just trying to help, boss. You're just here to help out for the day. Ride the motorbike. What's wrong with you? Just ready. Why did he keep calling me boss? We'd hide him for one day. I'd hardly say I was his boss. He really just wants to be a repo man. But the way he was all on edge, jumping out. I honestly thought he was on drugs. No, 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 no. He's just that pumped up on adrenaline. He just wanted to fight anyone, didn't he? It's ready. It's ready. Just stay there. Sorry about that, mate. Gary Maxwell, yeah? Yeah, that's me, mate. Yeah, you're seven months behind on your Harley. Can you yeah. make any payments or? I can't, mate, no, no. Any reason why? Or can yeah, you just I give us the keys? I lost my job and everything else, I've been struggling to pay. But yeah, I suppose I can give you the keys, yeah. Logbook? Uh, yeah, I'll try and find it, yeah. Right. Good thing is to do is like give us the keys. Obviously, the finance company can get in touch with them. Yeah. They'll go in our secure compound. I mean, if you want to pay at a later date, then you can get your vehicle back. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. if you just want to go and get the keys, mate. Yeah, not a problem. What's it with you? Give us the keys, give us the keys. What's all that? Just trying to help, boss. What do you mean trying to help? Just thought we'd speed it up a little bit. Speed what up? The bloke's being nice. Just thought I was helping. Just thought I was helping, boss. Go and sit in the vehicle. And shut the door. H, out of all the years repoing, have you ever, hand on heart, ever seen me send a hide help to the Jeep? What choice did I have? You would have been better off sending him home. It's crazy, isn't it? There you go, mate. All right, All cheers, right, thank you. Thank you. Stop, stop. Is everybody so, the boss? Sorry about that, must be here for you, Philip. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's fine. Where are the keys? Do you think he's still breathing? I hope so. That's how you do it, lads! Back at the yard. See you back at the yard, boss. The only problem is, he doesn't even know where the yard is.
H, how long did it take us to find him? He didn't know where the yard was, and he had his phone switched off. About three hours, you know. It took us longer to find him than the actual repo. Oh man, I'd forgotten about him. Well, I was doing my best to try and forget about him. I wonder whatever happened to him. Hey up, boys, how we doing? Hey up, H, come on, budge up, let us in, come on. Go on, let us in then, come on. Oh, how we doing, pal, you all right? Do you miss me, lads? I wanted this to be a surprise for you, H. Hey, H, since I've last seen you boys, I had some right battles. Right belter on Saturday night. Six or eight of them when I was on the doors. Hang, hang on, how many? Eight, six, ten. Don't matter, there was a lot of them. Didn't take much for me, did it? Remember, I work on my own on the doors, so it was just me. So one come at me, boom, right hand, next one with a left. The other one, he just looked at me and he thought, hey, I'm messing with him, and he walked off. <laughs> The best thing about it all, though, barmaid comes up to me, she says, hey, Rex, what a job, as ever. Always the best job. Give me a number, didn't she? Hey, up, boss, how are you doing? <laughs> Rex, I keep telling you, I'm not your boss. You worked for me once in a blue moon. I'm always there when you need me, though. Always at the end of the phone. Repo man, aren't I? But you're not a repo man, are you? Hang on a minute, H, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, if you reckon you're a repo man now, just name one golden rule. Always be prepared. <laughs> That's the Boy Scouts. The repo version, always be prepared. And don't forget your sandwiches. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> repo Rex, got to remember that job I helped you on. That grab hire one. Proper secured that one, didn't I? You call that secured? Well, they didn't get it, did they? Did you see the state of it? Alright, oh, sure. Alright, mate, how you doing? Not bad, not bad. Ugh. I thought Dad was with us today. No, he's, he's out, mate, but I've got it sorted. Hey, up, bitch. No. Boys are back. Boys are back. You've got it sorted. Ready really? For this one, boys. <laughs> mate, it's all I could do. Oh. I had to use him. Dream Team's back here. Yeah. Dream Team's back. He was um, visiting Dave. Oh, my gosh. Seriously? Mate, we've got a busy day, we need him. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? <laughs> if you do realise, no fighting today, because we're going to, the first customer's a woman. Well, we'll see what happens, will we? What do you mean we'll see what happens? There's no fighting, it's a female. What standard procedure for taking a woman down then? Is it a tackle? Headlock? Whoa, whoa, mate, it's a female. It's not no big six foot dude you're tackling. You're not gripping up any females at all. You just take it easy, just yeah, chill. Yeah, what if she kicks off though? What if, what if she goes for Tell it? him, please, tell him. Tell him. You can try and restrain her if she kicks off, but we don't normally, we just let him hit us. Can't be having that much. Can't be having yeah, a woman like, in the reaper. Just, just, just chill, all right? Worst comes to worst, so I've got your back. Yeah, but it's not going to come worse, comes to worse. We'll see. You bring more trouble on the customers. Brought me for a reason. Oh, yeah, just to help out for the day. We needed another driver. We've got a long day. In fact, today, you can look after the car. All right, H? Hey, you got an important job there, mate. I've got H's job. Yes. Do it right, mate. Do it right. So we get the fold out, H. OK. Here we go, and here we go. What's the car we're after? Oh, it's a smart car. What's the woman's name? All right, the woman is Claire Thornton. So H comes with me to the door and you can secure the car. I mean, what's the worst? What can happen? Really? You just had to say that, innit? <laughs> All right, here we are. Just there on the right. Okay. Is this it, boys? Is this it? Chill out, mate. Chill out. Chill out. Oh, it's a smart Ooh, car right in front of us. Look at, oh, that's, that, that's our red. My job then, boys, just securing the vehicle. Is that it? Yeah. That's all we need from you. So just get out and go and stand by the vehicle. All right. Just stay there, mate. All right.
Hey, up it's open. What's he doing? Secured. See, lads, secured it. Your job's easy, H. Start to finish, 10, maybe 12 seconds. What are you going on about? That car was unlocked. Animate, H. He's got a point. There was no messing around. Oi! Don't encourage him. <laughs> yeah, is it Claire Thornton? It is. Yeah, we've got a repossession warrant. For? For your motor vehicle. Well, you can't have it. I'm in dispute with the garage at the moment. I bought it for my daughter. Just because you've got a dispute with a garage, there's still finance on it, so the finance company still owns the vehicle. So the vehicle But I'm not going to pay for something. That doesn't work. But that's between you and the garage. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. That car's going nowhere. Well, it looks like our agent's already in it. Well, he needs to be getting out of it, because that's my daughter's car. It doesn't work. It doesn't matter. We just hook it up. We've got an A-frame in the back of a Jeep, so we just take it. Right. Well, can you just give me five minutes, please? You can have five minutes, but the vehicle's going to go. Well, it's not, but I need five minutes just to make a couple of phone calls, if that's OK. It doesn't matter, the vehicle's still going to go. You can have five minutes, but the vehicle's going. Well, I'll take that five minutes and take my chance. He's happy in there, isn't he? Thumbs up as well. I can't believe it. H, you ever had a thumbs up on a job before? Universal, isn't it? Universal signal for car secured. What? How is that universal signal for car secured? But you was in the Marines, you should know all the hand signals and stuff you had then. Should have come up with a signal for car secured by now. Let each other know what's going on. Hang on a minute, H, I think he's got a point here. 23 years of working for me, and you haven't even developed a system for car secured. Well done, Rex. Cheers, boss. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. You? Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Um, listen, there's three men um, with a repossession warrant for um, our daughter's car. The smart car? Yeah. Are we still happy in the car, look at him? We're in dispute with the garage over it. The thing's not worked since day one. No, they know that. We know that. But they said there is going. It's going. They're going to take it regardless. When are they taking it? They're taking it now. They've given now? me well. They've given me five minutes to call you. What's taking her so long? I oh, know. Uh, give Give Derek a call. I'd rather he had it than they did. Okay. All right. I'll do that then. All right. Let me know. I will do. Speak soon. Take care. Right. Cheers. Bye. 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 Hello. Hiya, Derek. It's Claire. I've got the repo men here for the smart car. I'd rather you had it and weirded it in than they have it. So do you want to come down and grab it now? Yeah, sure, mate. I'll come and get it. Where is it? It's just on the drive at the house. OK, love. I'll be there as soon as. All right, thanks very much. That's got to be a five minutes up now, isn't it? Oh, the thought so, yeah. Looks like she's made two phone calls. Come round the back. You gonna make payment then? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think so, but you're still not taking it. We are gonna take the vehicle. You're not. Actually, is he still in it? What do you mean, if he's still in it? Why is he still in my car? Well, he needs to get out. It's still my car. The car's been repossessed. It hasn't been repossessed. You've got two choices. You either pay for it, or you take your stuff out. So how much have I got to pay? It's on your paperwork. 2,100? Yeah. By when? Now. Well, you're going to have to give me a little bit of time. Yeah, but easiest solution is if you're having an argument with a garage anyway, why don't you just give the car back then? We've already repossessed it. We've already got it. Because they're not getting it back. It belongs to me and it, you're not taking it out. It belongs to the finance company. Well, then they're not going to have to speak to the garage. They don't have to speak. They send us out. No, you're not taking it. The finance agreement and the repairs on the car are two totally different things. She might have an argument with a garage, but a finance company own the car, so therefore she still has to pay. The politics of why she hasn't paid, it's got nothing to do with us. So who should have gone on the garage then? What are you going on about? 
Well, they mess with the car, so they've got to pay as well. What are you talking about? Listen to what Sean just said. The garage has got nothing to do with us. Now, nah, second, the mick out was you go down there and sort them out. Oh man, you're something else. But what you're failing to realise is you still have to pay for the vehicle or the vehicle's going. You've got two choices. It's that simple. I mean, we've got an agent in the vehicle. The agent needs to get out because you're not having it. Get out or you could be with me. No, no, you're coming with me, pal. You're coming, you're with, coming me. with me, mate. You can shake your head all you want, the vehicle's going to go. You're coming with me. Put it down! You're coming with me. Rex! 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 Put it down now! Rex! Rex, can you hear me? Hey, hey, get the jeep! I'm only doing my job. Doing your job? Yeah, well I'm told to. Get him down! I need my keys. Rex! Rex! <laughs> Rex! Get him down now! I tell you what, get in that truck I'm and drive! Doing your job! Doing your job! Rex, one thing I've been meaning to ask you about that day, right? When you saw the wagon turn up and the grabber coming down, why didn't you just get out? Didn't you see it? Yeah, I saw it. I spoke to the guy and I said, no, I ain't going anywhere. I'm securing this vehicle. Wait, so you spoke to the driver before we crashed the car? Yeah. We was arguing to and fro. He asked me to get out. I said, no, mate, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. I'm securing the vehicle. So why didn't you stop him? Well, if I remember rightly, on the way down, and I quote, I was told to behave, I couldn't be violent, and I had to secure the vehicle. So I secured the vehicle. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So the one time you could have got out of the car and knocked him out, he decided not to. Professional eye. Hey, just get him out. Look at the state of it. It's all right, polish out that. You're supposed to secure it. I did, I didn't get out. Is this your idea of a joke? 
It is quite funny though. Could have killed us. Come on lads, in the Jeep. Excuse me, is that our paperwork? This, yeah. Cheers. We weren't even here. Another good job done. Man, that car was a wreck. And you didn't even try and stop him. That's neither either there, though, is it? You've used me on a few jobs now, though, haven't you? Unfortunately, yeah. Remember the last time when I was outnumbered? Good job you took me. Hang on a minute, funny enough, I don't remember that. You know, the one with the yard, the big trucks, the big lads. I sorted it out there. Rex, what are you talking about? You can't even sort yourself out. Unfortunate, innit? She's got short term memory loss. Just feel sorry for you, mate. Oh, boys, what's today's job then? What we got? I normally say that, but go on, H, get the folder. All right, it's, what's the haulage company, H? All right, we've got TKNNN haulage. NNNNNNNNNN haulage? Yeah. Can you work out what to say? I want to call him his company. Wow, that's a mad name. Sounds like trouble, that, boys. Well, mate, look, honestly, Rex, just calm down. The only thing trouble is you. So what are we after today? I think it's had a look. I think we've got two three and a half tonners, yep. one 7.2 tonner, yep. two 18 tonners. Yep. Good thing is though, they're all on trackers. Oh seriously? Yeah, I'll show you trackers yes, we know exactly where they are. We know that this company starts at six o'clock, one shift goes out, and then another shift goes out at eight. So we're gonna get there and sit and wait for them at eight. But it doesn't matter that the other trucks aren't there because he doesn't know that we know where they are. Okay. So Sounds like it could be a few boys at this one. Uh, even if there is a few boys, Rex, just calm it down. Never know what's gonna happen, boys. When you're around, yeah. Better get these bad boys ready, aren't I? What are you spitting on your fist for? Ready for it, lads, ready for it. Ready for what? A few names in that one, there's gonna be a few boys here. Now compared to my days back in Nick. Back ah. in the nick. Oh, you've been in prison. You know it, boys. Don't wanna, don't wanna alarm you or anything, but okay. you know. Okay, okay, I'm interested now. Explain yourself. So, you, so you've been to prison, then? In a few years inside. Two in Broadmoor, one in Pentonville. Short stretch in Leo. Two in Stafford. Did a four stretch in Dana. Three in Dean, the Green. <laughs> And then finished off with a, a far stretch in strange ways, didn't I? We don't want to talk about that one, though. Why not? That's about, hang on a minute, hang on, <laughs> hang on, right? That's about 15 years. Long How time. old are you now? 31. <laughs> 31, hang on, let's go this out. 31, so that's 16, isn't it, H? Is it 16? So, so you, went, you went to prison at 16 and never come out? <laughs> that's it, boys, oh. that's it. <laughs> How's that even wow. possible? So let, hang on, right, hang on, right. So let's just say, right, that you went to prison, like, and then you had a break and you'd come out for a month or two months to commit another offence. You'd have been at least 12 or 13. Well, you know, you get muddled up these days, don't you, boys, on that much time. Never remember it all perfectly. So you're telling us you went to prison when you were 12? Uh, look, yeah, maybe, yeah. So why did you get moved from so many different prisons then? Well, you know, started taking over the place and uh, the, uh, they had to move me around, keep, keep the others safe. That's what they kept telling me. Well, so they had to keep all the other prisoners in Broadmoor safe from you? That's the one, boys, that's the one. You know what they used to call me in prison, boys? <laughs> oh, don't, Rex, no, please. We need to be serious for this job. Don Rex. <laughs> I was the Don about the place. The big Don. Oh, please stop. We've got to be serious. We can't get into a repo. Rex, just leave for talking to us today, yeah? 
Does Jeff say for talking to us? Oh. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, things got a bit serious, didn't the boys? We even mentioned a building my own prison, like Pablo Escobar. <laughs> you know, Chris, to keep me on my own. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Quick, we're nearly here. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! My head hurting. Stop! Stop! Just don't say it again. Don't be taking you out. All right, it's just down here. You boys need to get serious. <laughs> this could go down today. <laughs> Gates is shut, what's the time? 7.30, right. So we're gonna be in about 15 minutes, aren't we? Should we park up here? Looks good. I mean, we stick out like a sore thumb, but they're just going to drive past, aren't they? I'm not expecting us, are And even if they do come flying past and spot us by the time they've gone there, we can just pull out box them in. They're not going anywhere. Yep. I know where the trucks are, because I've got the, I've got them all on an app. See, that one there is near Oxford. So when they get here then, boys, we're just going to get it and get the keys, knock them out and get the truck, or what? As I was saying, H, <laughs> all right, there's one of them's near Oxford at the moment, and you've got two three and a half tunnels. You want me to go get them now, seeing they're here? Dude. We need to get the keys, we need the gates open. We're going to wait for these people to turn up. We, we probably only have to wait 15 minutes. Probably get over that fence. So, are you going to get the vehicles out? We're going to get the keys. Oh man, this is going to be a long day again, isn't it? Yep. Oh, let's just sit and wait for him. And you stay in the vehicle. Now, you boys wait around far too much. We had them on tracker. Could just go hunting them down. Why would we do that? They were coming to us. What was you expecting to do? Pull up alongside, you jump on the back. Who do you think you are, Tom Cruise? I think you need to move with the times, really, Sean. <laughs> oh, man, you ain't right in the head. It works perfectly fine in the movies. As you can see on this, one of them's literally just coming in and then the other three and a half tonners in the yard with the 18 tonner. H, 69 plate. Oh yeah, is this it boys? Yeah. Rex, be quiet a minute. That's them. Um... All right, wait there. Get ready H, get the folder. Let them open up first, let them get in. Is it boys, get open? Oh no, where's he going, where's he going, where's he going? I like these odds. Let's have it! Come on! 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 Seven people. Seriously, you're telling me that you went running into that yard, took out seven of them, done the whole repo on your own? And that's what happened, boys. And that's a story you've been telling. How many times have you been told that? I know it must be embarrassing for you both. Seven of them? Really, Rex? Come on, how many times have you retold that story? A few. The only thing right with that story is you went running into that yard. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going?
Where did he come from? What have you done to him? He ran into my door. Oh yeah, Lily's story. What did you do to my agent? What are you looking out for? What's going on? You run into my door. Let's get down to a bit of business. Right, who's your owner of TK NNN Hornish? I am what? Who are you pushing? Right, there's repossession orders for that, that, and that. Meaning what? We're taking the vehicles. You right, ain't taking my vehicles. To, listen to me, listen to me. These vehicles belong to us. Now that you ain't taking nothing. You're in default. I don't, so the care, vehicles I don't care belong what to that us. Rex, you alright, mate? Rex! We've got keys for the two already. You ain't taking my We've vehicles. We've got keys for two you vehicles ain't. already. You're not taking my vehicles. You're not listening to me. Chris, oh, really? we can take you, mate. Come on. Me and you. Come on, mate. We can take nah, you between man. us. Nah, man. You ain't paying me enough. Nah, not for the minimum wage. Really? Nah, 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 nah man. I'm out of it. I'm out of it. Mate, mate. Just me and you, then. Can I just go and get my son from over there? We'll be out your way. We'll, we won't give you no trouble. All right, go on then. You good with that, yeah? Yeah, go on. Okay, cheers, mate. You're on your own, mate. You're on your own. What's that about? Excuse me, mate. Could I possibly have my son back? I've, I've pleaded it with your colleague. We're just going to go. We're going to go. Come on, come on, come on, let's get out of here. Come on. Nah, and we still want paying for today. You serious? Too right, we're serious. Forget them now, concentrate on me, mate. You've got the problem, I ain't got no problem. No problem, no, you ain't taking them vehicles, I guarantee it. No mm -hmm. way. Mate, don't make guarantees you can't keep. All right, I heard what you said to him. Let's get them, hey? It's two of us now. How'd you like those odds, hey? How'd you like them? I like them, don't you, H? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay. All right, get a folder. All right, you've got to make 3,231. Okay, I can do a back transfer off my phone, is that all right? Yeah, do it now. Okay. There you go. Wasn't too bad, was it? Nice doing business with you. Happy now? What do you mean, happy now? Okay, is that it now? I've lost staff, you've cleared me yard out. I've paid the bill, is that it? Yeah, let's go. What a result! What? Forgot someone! Sean's chair. It's not, it's mine now. Thought let's take this opportunity to tell you. Rex's Reapers, the new future A team. Me and H. Hasn't H worked for Sean for 23 years? And? Is, is he going to work with you? 
not going to work with me. He's going to work for me. 